Good afternoon, Copeland Wildcats. Today is Friday, May 8th. I hope you guys have had a fabulous week. My screen is back to glitching again. I have no idea why, so I'm going to make this short and sweet, okay? Um, I just want you guys to know that I have missed you terribly. This has been a very unique experience for all of us in distance learning, but I am confident that we have all prevailed. I'm going to give you a little bit of information about what today is because that's what I've been doing, and then I'm going to let you guys go. Um, today is National Give Someone a Cupcake Day. Uh, I love making cupcakes. It is even my dream to have a cupcake shop one day or a cupcake business. I would actually really enjoy doing that. Um, I love inventing different flavors of cupcakes. Um, I'm actually allergic to wheat, so I have to make gluten-free cupcakes for myself. So I have mastered the art of making gluten-free and regular cupcakes. And so I, it's something I really, really enjoy. So today on Give Someone a Cupcake Day, why don't you guys uh, make some cupcakes and share them with your family? Or maybe give them to the local fire station or police station or hospital to thank them for what they are doing to keep us safe in these unusual times. It is also National Provider Appreciation Day. Right now, your parents are providing so much for you, even more than normal, having to also be your, te your extra teacher in addition to everything else. You know, they give you a home over your head, food in your bellies, and now they're helping you make sure that you're keeping up with your education in alongside with your teachers. So it's a good time to appreciate them for all they are doing to help you and support you as you are um, growing up and learning. So make sure you give them an extra special thanks today. Maybe make one of those special cupcakes just for them to show them you appreciate them, okay? All right. Um, it's also National Student Nurses Day. You know, it's Nurses Week. So today is the student nurses, the people who are learning to become nurses and how much we appreciate them. So that's another thing to be uh, thinking about, Nurses Week, and it is the end of Teacher Appreciation Week, too. We have teachers and nurses out there doing some amazing things, guys, risking you know, health and, and, and to be able to do things for us. And so we are so thankful to all the nurses and all the medical staff out there, the custodians who work in the hospitals, the respiratory therapists, the CNAs, the receptionists, all of those people who work at the hospital guys are super important. And they are helping us keeping people safe the best they can right now. So it's very good to be appreciative of that. Um, just a reminder um, some business reminders. Today is the last day you will get you receive any new information from your teachers. You've probably already gotten it because they've been doing it week by week. Um, so just to keep that in mind, today is the last day you'll get new information. This is the last day of WCES Live. Um, I will be working on some other different things for end of the year procedures to wrap my school year up as well. Um, we will have still those drop-off times, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 11 to 1 for meals service and to drop off your assignments. We are working on that textbook and library book drop-off. So if you have any of those materials, do not stress. Keep an eye on the website for information on when to turn those materials in, okay? On a more personal note, as your media specialist, guys, I love you and I miss you. To my fifth graders, I hate that I can't hug your neck and tell you bye and wish you good luck as you go to middle school next year, but I ask you to come back and see me, okay? When things have, have calmed down, you guys come back and see me and, and tell me how you're doing. I want to hear about your success, okay? Especially all of my media team kids, I am going to miss you guys. I hate that we can't see each other as much. Oh my goodness, I just feel shorted. I feel like I've been shorted of my time with you. So, you know, I just, I can't say enough how much I miss you guys and how much I hate that I can't say goodbye to you more formally and more officially. But that doesn't mean it's goodbye. It just means it's see you later for now. Um, I do hope to see you guys as you grow up. Continue to come check, to take, come see me, check on me, email me, tell me how it's going, okay? I can't wait to see and hear about your successes. To the rest of my, my wonderful Copeland Wildcats, my kindergartners, my first graders, my second graders, my third graders, and my fourth graders, and my pre-K babies, I look forward to seeing you next school year. <clears throat> I'm not sure what it's going to look like, but I know we're going to get through it together, okay? We are going to see each other, we are going to survive, and we are going to keep moving, all right? So I just want you to know that I am so proud of you for all of your hard work to get through this distance learning. I know it's been different. I know it's been hard, but I know that you guys are awesome and that you can do it and you have done it. 
So give yourselves a big pat on the back for all that you have done. I know this was a bit of a shorter show because I don't want to keep talking about how I'm going to miss you guys. I might cry and I don't want to do that. So um, just know that I love you so much and I miss you. And I am still just an email away, okay? You can email me to talk to me anytime. I love you guys. Have a wonderful afternoon and a great weekend. See you later, Wildcats.